Hey guys, just said I went live, so if, if it was a delay and they just sitting here, that's why this thing just acts so terrible. I'm on my laptop, um, and I went live. I can do the live chat on this, but I uh, can't do much of anything else on my phone. Uh, and it's pausing again. I, I tried to make the video all go, and it's, um, I don't know. Pausing again, so I don't know how this is going to do. Uh, this thing's just one hassle after another. But I'm going to try to make this. As the title of the video says, I've, I've got a, I ain't got a shirt on. That's why I'm sitting here like this. Um, fixing to lay down, but I wanted to make this video... As the title says, I got a new symptom. It's in this ear. Hang on. It's in this ear right, ear right here. I have a clicking sound inside my ear. It'll just click for no reason, or it'll. It's almost like like when you're touching wood, or like when people pound those little. I don't know what instruments they are, but it goes. And I'm paused again. Okay. I don't know why it keeps freezing, but. So kind of, but the sound is like, like when you hit those little instruments and it goes, it's what it feels like in my ear. It's kind of it's a little scary. If it keeps doing it, I'll definitely go to the, you know, the doctor and see what's wrong. I mean, I think it's withdrawal, but you never know. So, uh, but I got a new symptom, and and it does it like if I yawn or sneeze or kind of, you know. You know, like that, it'll do it in my ear. Or it'll just do it randomly, me just sitting here. Um, I've got another, like I said, it's this is definitely a wave. Um, the last several days, if I eat anything, anything, it's like it goes right through my stomach, and I'll have to take a, you know, go to the bathroom and take a, you know, take a crap. <sighs> Freezing up again. Okay. Um. I, uh, I'll have to take a crap, you know, right after I eat a lot of times. And I cramp really bad, like really cramp up. And boy, when I mean, I have to go to the bathroom bad. It hurt, you know. And I go and I crap and I get it all out. But I've been having that acid. I've been having acid reflux. And I think it's definitely a wave. And I think I've gotten this new symptom. It started last Thursday. And it's been, and then yesterday, uh, Friday, I didn't really have it. Saturday, it happened again. And then, of course, Sunday, it started this morning. Uh, didn't have it Sunday, but started this morning. I got home. That new symptom, it's freaking me out. Um, I ain't doing any good. And I, it's funny that I heard also uh, somebody that I went to. Sorry, so I'm getting mad because it keeps freezing up on me. So I hope this video is even working well. But I heard that a friend, uh, not really a friend of mine, but somebody I went to school with ended up uh, that I didn't get along with. He was a goofball in school, never, you know, focused, never tried to do anything. And he's getting. With his new job, he gets to travel. He puts, I, I don't go on Facebook, but my mom said he puts pictures on his Facebook page. I mean, that's fine. It's his life. He ain't done nothing to me, but I just get so tired of seeing everybody that tried less than me getting to be happy. That was one of my dreams growing up, was to travel the world. I always, especially Europe, I always wanted to see it. Nah, it's never going to happen. Well, it says it's back. It's really getting on my nerves. I don't know why it's doing this, but it is. Let me just get off the internet. I don't know what's good. This stuff is a full-time job with it. All right, it says I'm all. And it says my connection's unstable. I have no idea why. I don't know. It's so ridiculous. But I'll just try to make this video anyway, guys. Um, but now getting back to what I was talking about, I mean, my dream was to travel. It was to see the world. 
like I said, especially Europe, I, I dreamed of doing that. And, and I didn't dream of like freezing up again. I don't know. God, so ridiculous. I'm just going to keep talking, guys. If it does, if it frees up and doesn't work, just just tell me when uh, when you go back and watch the video. I have no idea what's going on with it, but I'm just going to keep talking even when it freezes up. So, um, I mean, I've gotten off the internet. I'm, I'm the Roku's off. I, I have no idea. So, but uh, getting back to what I was talking about, I mean, I always wanted to travel, and I don't mean like go to the beach or just hit some hot clubs around the world. You know, I really wanted to see the world and I wanted to go see where Martin Luther nailed the 95 theses. I wanted to see Paris. And I don't mean the romance and all. I don't care about that. I wanted to see the history of it. Um, I always wanted to see Vienna, Austria. You know, it was the center of music. And, um, I always dreamed of doing that. And I dreamed of going to Israel one time, the Holy Land. I was so, especially when I was young, because I was so religious. None of that's ever happened. Not any of it. Matter of fact, I haven't been on a vacation. I haven't been on a vacation in almost 20, over 20 years now. Uh, yeah, I went to Asia, but I have not been on a vacation in 20 years. And it says my connection is unstable again. I have no idea. So if anybody's watching, I apologize. I don't know what's, what the deal is. I have no idea. But I'm just so frustrated. I'm so tired. I'm just tired of life. I don't know. First, I never got to fulfill any of my dreams. Never got to go to college because I never. They wouldn't let me go. I went and tried to go. They wouldn't let me go. Um, I tried to. I wanted to be a missionary, a Christian missionary, when I was young, and travel the world and preach and. I couldn't do that because of finances. I was kind of afraid to be away from home. Um, my autistic problems, of course, I had severe OCD that affected me mentally. And it's just nothing ever worked. If you see me itching, it's that's one of my symptoms, too. I'm having a lot of itching. So it's one thing after another with this stuff. But, um, yeah, I mean, I have no money, and I'm not blaming anybody for that. I mean, I don't work, which I can't work right now with this Benzo withdrawal, but I've never worked, technically. Uh, you know, a job. I worked for a month at a grocery store, and I screwed up there. Didn't I couldn't do the job well, and I got frustrated. I quit. I was embarrassed, to be honest, back then. I was very young. But, I don't know. I think I realized early on that. Sorry about that. I thought somebody was pulling in, guys. Sorry about that. Uh, but I just, I don't know. I just, I thought God would bless me. I thought that he would be there. He would help me in my life. Not only that, I have no money. I get destroyed by these medications that I took not to get high or get doped up. I took them for my autistic symptoms years ago. Took these things for seven years. Should never have done it if I'd have known. I didn't have the internet back then. And when I came off, I was just in the gates of hell. I don't know. I don't know what happened. I have had every symptom known to man. I have suffered now for about 10 years. I have lost half of my life. I'm almost telling you. I have 
I'm blanking here. I'm trying to think of what to say. I always have everything planned out, and then I get on here and I forget. Um, oh, yeah. I'm not married. Of course, I can't right now anyway. That's whether I want to or not, that's just not a possibility. A woman could be begging me for marriage right now. I, I can't think of getting married. Um, I have no kids, of course. Never been with a woman sexually or romantically. I've had very few friends in my life, and it always ended bad. Just about every single one of them. I have no one except for my mom. And then I have to look around, and everyone that either treated me like crap or pretty much didn't live. I'm just going to say it. You know, I always thought if you don't live for God, you know, God's at least going to punish you a little bit. And everybody I look at who isn't living for God, and many of them that I know personally that I know who never have, and their lives aren't perfect. Don't get me wrong. They're not my life. They're not suffering the way I am. Not even close. I don't know. It's funny. I I think of all the symptoms I got. You know, cramping in my stomach. That weird clicking sound in my ear. Um, the acid tasting and burning in my mouth. The acid reflux. I'm having that sad right now. I had them earlier in the night. Uh, but now since I've been up for you know, a while, I've been up all night, but since then, I have not had that symptom for a little while. I don't know, guys. Like I said, pardon me. Uh, another symptom I'm having is the itching. Pardon me if you see me scratching a lot. I have a lot of itching. Wearing that hat seems to make me itch. But I don't know, guys. I was watching a documentary about Napoleon, and it was when he was defeated, you know, lost his empire that he looked at one of his friends or whoever it was and he said it'd be nice to lay down and go to sleep and not wake up for a year or two because he knew he was going to be in exile you know it was all over I'm the same one just had a sensation in my leg not severe but it was there I feel the same way I just, I'm just, I feel like I just want to give up. I can't win. I can't, I can't function really. Sorry, guys. There we go. I can't really function or do much of anything right now. Can't work. Everybody around me seems to be happier than go to the same places literally just about every day because I can't do anything different. Driving long distances affects my nervous system. Makes the pain worse. I hate going to the bars and clubs now. I wish I could just take a break from that for a while. But it's one of the few places I can go that my symptoms ease up a lot. Some of this, guys. Sorry, I have my eyes closed. I'm just so tired. I'm going to lay down after I get done with this video. But when does the hell ever end? I have no idea. Most days, I just don't think it's going to end. I don't know where I'm going to go from here. My life is half over. I can't go to college right now anyway. I mean, I'm too ill with this withdrawal. I can't go and think about doing that. I couldn't go even afterwards. Mom hasn't got the money to help me go. Unless I can get some kind of grant. You know. It would just be a community college. I can't go to no, no university. I don't have the money. That's never going to happen. They would never 
help me and mom would be angry about helping me. So what do you do? I have no girlfriend, wife, no prospects for that right now. No kids. Yeah, I might as well just come around and say, I don't really know what to say, but I almost went to sleep right there. I'm so tired. I need to cut this thing short, but uh, I don't know, guys. I tried so hard. I just feel like I'm giving it everything I got. It just doesn't matter. It's like no matter what I do, God's just not going to let me see. I'm not going to give up. I'm not going to cry. I mean, it's just, you know, I've cried so many times that doesn't really matter anymore. I don't know where to go with my life. I couldn't even get a job that my dad had. That's, that's an impossibility. Couldn't do it right now anyway with this withdrawal. And I broke my shoulder last year. So I can't be doing that kind of I mean, last year was such a nightmare. I went into severe benzo withdrawal where I was literally tortured every single day with those horrible symptoms. The electric shocks, the zapping, pain all day, the horrible muscles battery. Then I would get, uh, just, it was everything. Then I ended up wrecking, wrecking our car, broke my shoulder before that life. It was just a year from hell. This year is better, but still not great. Guys, I just ask if you can pray for me. Just maybe he'll listen to you guys. He doesn't seem to listen to me very much, but maybe he'll listen to y'all. Try to warn, you know, to ask him to show me some mercy and give me some. Like I said, you know, I, I mentioned in one of my videos that I went and played the lottery and somebody left a stupid comment. Well, he's going to play the lottery because he's broke. It's like poetry. Like, they don't get it, you know. I guess they think I'm just rolling in dough. I, I've spent a total of two bucks there. You know? It's not like I'm going and playing the slots. I don't know. I'm just trying to win some money. I don't know what else to do. If I at least won some kind of jackpot, I would at least know that I'm okay financially. And if I manage it right, I'd be all right. And I don't even have that security. I went up there and played the day after the storm and didn't win nothing. Got to keep hanging on, I guess. Well, guys, I'm going to have to go ahead and get off this thing. I'm about to pass out and go to sleep. Um, I appreciate y'all. Uh, yeah, hey, Greg, good to see you. I just looked up and saw the comment. Good to have you here and whoever else is on here. It was a bad year, Greg. You're right. You remember that you were one of the ones that were there during all that. It was, it was bad. Thank God it's over. Um, this year has been better. Not perfect, but it's been a lot better. So, just got to hang in there. Well, guys, I guess I'll go ahead and get off here. I appreciate anybody that watches the video. and to Both of y'all that were here, you, Greg, and whoever the other person was that has been on here. Uh, I appreciate it. And, and um, just about at the 20-minute yep, mark. So, I just needed to kind of vent, I guess, a little bit. But I just ask you guys to pray for me and just maybe things will get better. I, I have to just hope. And I don't mean just the withdrawal, life in general. It's just, I just need something to look forward to. I don't know what to do.
Well, guys, uh, take care. Hope y'all have a good day, and uh, we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.